for this program when you are applying it's very important that you make use of referees that you know they're going to read their emails they send the email to your referee and they're the ones that respond so if you use referees that are busy or they don't know you that much to spend their time for you then it's going to be difficult hello guys welcome to my channel today i want to share with you a school that um one of my friends spoke about in a video we did together you know so i don't know if you have seen that video about jobs and work experiences in france and how he got his opportunity and his work life in france so this is the school he went to and he mentioned that it's one of the top engineering school like it's the number one engineering school in france i said i should share with you guys the school and let's look at the courses in that school maybe to interest some of you let's see the different programs they have there and then how they can like how you can apply and create your account that's actually the purpose of this video So like I mentioned, the name of the school is actually Institute Polytechnique de Paris, but they have like different arms like that constitute the school, different bodies. So the one that specifically you'll be seeing is a core polytechnic because the programs are in different places. So it's a core polytechnic that he went to. Anyway, so let's look at it. Firstly, I'll be showing you where you can find your courses, like the course finder. I'm going to put all these links in the description. So please check the description for any of the links you're looking for. It's the same thing for any of my other videos that you're going to watch. Always check the description. You're going to find the links that will lead you to like the specific areas you're looking for. So I selected masters. So we see all the different masters here, master one, master two. I've mentioned the difference between these two already in different courses. And it shows you like the languages is being taught. And you can just like go more to go and see the program economics electrical embedded systems fluid mechanics like just different programs you are, you are going to see them here and yeah so um when you come to this program first of all i wanted to say when you come to this school you see they have you have the bachelor of science program you have the master's program you have the engineering programs you have the masters of science and technology so the one he actually went to that's my friend it was the one of master of science and technology i think it's more of like really, really specialized programs and in this program there are only 10 programs in this like in this masters of science and technology and the fees in this program are kind of more expensive than like in the tens of thousands but meanwhile like, like just the master's program that is master one master two it's actually like in affordable side like around four thousand six something we are going to look at it so and we're going to see the ways you can apply to these two schools so these two different programs because in the same school so please do watch to the end so you won't miss out on anything please please watch the end so you won't also be asking me questions on something i've already said please eh? please watch the end okay so first of all the master of science program it's a two-year program like normal i just tell you the different thing um it's cutting edge multi -dis disciplinary training and blah 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 and then so you come here for the master of science and technology program see like i mentioned they have like 10 programs and it includes artificial intelligence and advanced visual computing cyber security internet of things innovation and management that's the one that, that my friend actually did internet of things innovation and management it's actually a software engineer so you see like the course it's a master's program September, it starts September 2024. It's a two year program, it's in English. It tells you like the credits you need to be having, and then the school fees 14,900 euros per year. That's actually the school fees for this program. So you see this one, they actually put it straightforward. You now like to go and look and sew it before, <laughs> before you see the school fees, like some of these French websites they make you go through. So you see directly the program, industry oriented, high level of training. If you want to know more about the program, like the experience, you can watch that video to learn from his experience and to know, okay, what's up, is it a good thing to consider? And then in the master's program, like just the master's, you see like the, the different like stressed department, chemistry related program, biology, computer science related program, economics related program, design related program, electrical engineering, and so on and so forth, energy program, like there are, there are a lot of them. And then when you go to like, let's take for example, the computer science. So in the computer science program, let's say computer science for networks, you see like the different things, cyber security, operations, research, Let's take the, the computer science program. So when you come here to the computer science for network program, I'm just using this as an example to show you, okay, this is what you'll be seeing if you like in this school, just to you know, just to help you find your way around the website, just in case it's like confusing. So you see the year, the program, everything, the, just giving you three reasons why you should consider. And honestly, in these three reasons, like these assets, you can always take 
note of it and write it in your statement of purpose like say okay oh this course is going to allow me to like conduct project and lab work which is like helping to build my skills like industry skills you know that kind of stuff you should always take note of these things that you see in the school website and build your sop it tells you the academic requirement the language requirements how to apply you just need a transcript academic reference you need two of them and you add them directly online you need a resume like your cv and statement of purpose and then it shows you like the fees and scholarships available for eu students that are going to pay four thousand six something and for non-eu students that are actually paying six thousand eight eighty nine this is actually for this course but i know i saw a program i can't remember if it was like in the accounting side or chemistry part and it was around like lower than this six thousand something anyways so it shows you the application deadline that when you click on the admission page you're going to see it right now so if you can come to the admission site you see in the admission site for the phd it shows you like the portal you should use for the phd and then for the master's program so they have it in three batches they started since november 7th sorry i'm bringing it your way now because i not where well, I, I was not in a hurry was because i knew that they have like a longer timeline that's why i did not like hurry to make a video on it so now the second batch that's the second session it's in february 2nd till april 18th so you can see apply you're not you're not late even if you see this video like in may you're not late because it's ending may 30th so still go ahead and apply so this, these are the ones for non-eu students like people that are outside france but for someone that needs to use more master that's in france and you want to apply it's within just 26th to march 24th and then you now see different ways and for example i am a student holding a french or european diploma a student from a country that is not covered by study in france that's the campus france procedure but if you are a student that is covered by campus france procedure don't worry you don't need to apply to campus france you can still apply through them but they just show you like the link that you should use to apply so um clicking on this link this ip paris platform it takes you to this online platform that you use to apply for the master's program remember i said it's master's just the general master's and the one that is two degree master of science and technology there's another one so we look at it so so for this master this is the website so as a new applicant you just come here click are you a student of ip paris you said no and then you just have to fill in your details and then when, once you click agree submit they'll send you like a validation and when you validate the next time you don't need to go through all this again you just like log in let me just for example you just log in there and then you submit and then you like you sign you sign up that's when once you have logged in so this is an app how the application looks like you can apply to like five schools like you can apply to like sorry five different courses you can apply to five different courses in this program so let me use for example this one so you are seeing a dimension team has marked your application incomplete because there's something that needs to happen so that's the key thing i need to point out in this application so for this program when you're applying it's very important that you make use of referees that you know they're going to read their emails and they're going to respond because for this one you can't upload your reference letter yourself like i mentioned in some of my videos that there are some schools that allow you to upload your reference letters but there are some other schools that they send the email to your referee and they're the ones that respond so if you use referees that are busy or they don't know you that much to spend their time for you then it's going to be difficult and in terms of the referee i still always advise even if you are working try to use somebody from school at least one person from school because it will attest to your academic capabilities that kind of thing so even if you use one person from work also use one person from school that's just my advice but you can do as you want you can use anything as you want but it's just my own advice so you see this person is incomplete because the referees that we used they did not like they did not respond but meanwhile we have already done everything we needed to do we have submitted everything so this one they still did not respond so that's just the only sad part in this in this application like in this school that's one thing you should take note of let's take another person for example to look at it in this other person like i told you i work with different people that's you know they come to me like we should look at the application process together so this is another of my kind that i'm working with so let's look at this one so in this one we are we are here to complete the application because from my lessons i've learned that it's important that the referees first respond before we fill the other part because if the referees don't respond and we still complete the application it's still no use it still not be considered so it's better you wait for your referees to respond first so yeah you just like fill your personal information fill your contacts then this is where you feel like your recommendation you know and now you see it's still red because the referees have not looked at it if it's completed you see green 
but just know that if you wait as a refreeze don't respond you can always change the refreeze and use another person as your refreeze so that's the, another good part here and here you see your educational background here your educational background the language and here you go to additional information they just ask you a question how do you know about the school um which other institution are you applying and all those things and then here so you do your supporting document to upload you have to upload your id card your passport a photo of yourself you upload your diplomas um you upload like a test that you have taken for this one i normally just put like if you're taking a, a sat or something because they're making it compulsory so since you're not taking anything for me i just used to put the y egg for this one i mean it's not like you're required to put it and then you put um you upload your personal statements you upload your cv and then you upload your transcript so those are the things you should take note of when you're applying to this school and then other declaration like you accept consent and then you validate and submit your application so that is just it for this one so like i mentioned that two different ones masters and masters of science and technology anyways it's not much of a difference just that this one is more expensive and it's more like specialized is competition is higher and all those things so in this one you see the same thing you see the same process as the other one um and you just fill in and then you get your details and then you sign in so that's just the only difference here but that two different like application portal i'm going to put the two different links in the description and write it out very well so that you know the ones you should use to apply depending on your own situation but for me i would say it's you can consider the option like of applying like i like we said in a video made together that because of the school network because of the fact that it's round it's a top round school and so on so that different advantages are constructed but just know that it could be hard to get in so but that should not deter you from trying to apply or like sending your application like i used to say the highest you get is a no okay so don't hesitate who knows you can be qualified to like enter okay so that is it for this school um i hope it was useful i'm going to put all the links to the finding the courses different things i'll put in the description if you have any other question don't hesitate to like put it in the comment section hopefully um, i see it to answer hopefully it's also a straightforward question that i can answer but if not we can schedule a 30 minute session and we look at it together i respond to your own specific and personalized questions that could help you to like you know make informed decisions or try other options or look for other courses okay and don't hesitate to check my channel to see other videos i've made on school application I make those videos for you people so it's to be useful for you guys okay all right please take advantage of it and if you like this video if it was useful if you learned at least one thing from this video one thing see my voice don't even go please like the video subscribe to the channel help us grow encourage me with your subscriptions with your likes with your comments okay so i keep bringing this useful information and sharing these different tips with you i'm bringing different people to share contents and useful information with you guys okay See you in my next video. Bye. So the academic um, <laughs> I feel like